This show is sponsored by ODYS Global. Make sure that you do sign up and get a free $100 bonus by checking out ODYS Global's Age Domains or Done For You affiliate websites. Hi guys and welcome to today's podcast where I'm joined by Daryl Ledyard um, and we're going to be talking today about uh, mass page and the strategies and the tools and, and the everything to do with mass page builders basically. Um, so Daryl, thank you very much for taking the time to come on. Um, it's a pleasure to, to meet you. Obviously, um, Chris Palmer speaks very highly of you um but yeah so um it's always good to to speak to to guys who are doing really smart things but before we go into the smart stuff that you're doing hmm. um, can you just give the audience a bit of a background like where what have you been doing for the last 10 20 years what's your are you an seo guy are you um you know whatever let us know yeah i'm i'm like an seo guy like a um oral surgeon is a dentist um because I'm more the uh, specialist specialist with uh, inbound marketing, uh, with mass pages, with city landing pages, things like that. Uh, but I also have to be cross trained and to know about SEO to make that work well. So that's kind of the background for me. Um, my adventure with all of this started back in the mid '90s. I got out of college right at the 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 hit of the internet back in '95. And I got my first domains and I built my first um, website back in 97. And uh, it was the wild, wild west at that point. You could do anything and you would rank. And we did that. We built um, thousands of city landing pages and we were just cleaning up number one for everything in the industry that we were in. Um, I just looked back at it because I knew we had several hundred thousand up in the you know upper thousand, but I looked, we had a, over a million leads uh, in this industry in, in about a 10 year period of time, if I was looking back at my records. So we were really cleaning up um, with, with um, traffic and with leads um, at the time. So I've always believed in this process. And I've built this for other clients, um, corporate clients. Uh, we have one client where we're we're beating out HP, Dell, Cisco, um, all in these different areas. Uh, you know, with with local landing pages so for buying servers, for buying routing equipment, things like that. So uh, even the big dogs with uh, high domain authorities, things like that, we're able to go in if we do things the way that uh, I suggest and I teach my, my students how to do, we're able to go in and rank above them uh, with these pages. So I, I uh, basically, when COVID hit, I lost a good percentage of my consulting clients. Every business that we were working with, there was a lot of them that got shut down. There were, there was, uh, we were in the entertainment industry, uh, hospitality industry, uh, uh, and um, uh, consulting. And, and those things just got like, turned down really quickly. So I just was like, okay, I got this time on my hands. I can do something with it. So uh, what I decided to do is to build a set of software because I've been doing software for years, uh, build a set of software that helps other people, uh, either SEOs, uh, lead generation people, uh, web designers, agencies, things like that, to build these city landing pages properly so that you know mass page as a concept could be you know, reinvigorated uh, in the community. A lot of people have tried like SERP Shaker and things like that. And their thin mass page sites have just gotten wiped out. Uh, so we wanted to give a suite of tools that would let people to do it Daryl's way, the way I've been doing it for years and um, to get those very high results. So that's that was the inspiration behind it all. Interesting. Uh, no, it's always good to know like the background and stuff. And I think obviously when you look at your Facebook and it says, website builder web developer you just it's good to see like some people at me are just the, the crap at development um, and we rely on people like you understanding seo better and uh, to, to be able to join those pieces um for guys like me who just want to make things work and, and do these mass page things but um i want to talk to you probably quite in depth on the mass page um, strategy so as you see a lot of the audience will be able to relate to this we've all used your search shakers and and everything mm -hmm. else and blasted out 
you know, 20,000 uh, pages and, and, you know, eventually you, sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you get slapped, sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, right. And I think obviously over the years it, it worked very well, you know, several years ago. Um, and then obviously Google start to catch up and, and you know, look at things a bit differently. Um, so first off, I just want to talk uh, about the tool you've got and what that does that's different to the other stuff that's out there. So, you know, we, we, let's just use Search Shaker as an example. That's one that a lot of people have used over the years. And uh, and I think a lot of people still come to me to this day saying, Craig, are you still doing mass page? What are you using? Blah, 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 blah. So obviously if I'm asked that question now, um, I, I will be telling people about your tool. But just for the audience, what is it that, your tool does that's different from the the stuff that everyone else is doing yeah so uh basically we we have a lot of different um aspects of what our tool does um it's basically you're bringing the content uh into a form that we have called the what we call is the magic form and you fill out all of these different sections which i'll show you a little bit later on in this call uh you fill these se sections out it sort of builds a format uh, for for the perfect mass page uh, site, okay? And you fill this out. Uh, it, it gives you a lot of other tools. Uh, so if you want automatic spin text, we have Word AI built into it. If you want uh, to be able to scrape content from another site and have it rephrased, we have that all built into it uh, and, and things like that. So we, we, we do that. Plus we also work with GMBs. So your GMB CID gets grabbed. We scrape your website schema. Uh, we grab your metadata from your, your base website, whatever your site is you're trying to, to grab from. So we're just like grabbing all of this content to make it really super easy for you to fill out this form, okay? In addition to that, we also give you a way to send the form to your client to have them fill out the rest of it. Okay, so you can fill out a section of it and then uh, say you just fill out the rest of it and we'll build your website for you. Uh, mm -hmm. So so we're, we're given that. We're also coming out with a way that you will be able to share the form with other people in the community. So you can build a, the perfect plumber site and you'll be able to, to, to let somebody else have all your content with all the spin text, with all the tokens in there because we use tokens uh, for like where the company goes, where the locations go, the nearby cities, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, so basically what we try to do is give you the tools to prep the, the site. And then we want you to have outputs to go to the various other mass, uh, page, uh, builders, the, the MPC, the, uh, page generator pro, uh, city, city page pro, like all of these different ones. Plus, we've had a lot of interest from SEOs to also work with like Rank Snap and like uh, DFY Suite and like all of these uh, Yive Ranker so that we can grab you the, the content right out of the system and put it right in there uh, as well. Uh, Peter Drew has a program. Uh, Ranking Factory has a program where uh, they, they're making Google sites. Okay, so we want to give you the content so that you can just go ahead and make your ranking sites right off of the form that you filled out on my system. So we're agnostic to one particular page builder. Uh, it, it, right now, we started off with Magic Page Plugin because that's the, the community that I came from. Uh, but we want to build it so that it's much bigger than that. Uh, so it's sort of your content hub and it preps all of your uh, information so that you can rank very highly uh, once you put it into a template of some kind. So, for example, if I was to have Magic Page Plugin, which is the one that you you currently um, work with, uh, you know, if I'm going to go on there, get your software, um, and start to do mass page builders, do, does your software push that in through Magic Page Plugin so that I don't need to copy and paste stuff? How does it actually work? And how long, and just for one page, so for me to use your software and just put up one landing page mm -hmm. into your form, how long does that whole process take from me filling out the form to that being in my website? Yeah, so the, the longest step of the process is gathering the information um, and you know tightening up the information that you put inside the form okay so that's you know where the cutting and pasting will happen um after the form has been um set up which i'll go over and show you uh the output 
you just export the export uh, file, which will take you no time because it's just a flat text file. You import it into uh, Magic Page plugin into my templates, or we have a templates club that you can belong to, and you can just put it into that template, and you've got the site 90% done. Uh, the contents there, the photos are all there because you've processed them off my form. And uh, so it, it takes literally a few minutes uh, once you have the information in there and you can just change the GMB location and you can have a totally different website that you can throw on another uh, Amazon S3 or another hosting domain, uh, whatever you want. So you can have these you know, very evergreen templates. Uh, mm -hmm. They have tokenization company, tokenization uh, keywords, all of that stuff. And then that just kind of comes out and makes another convert completely ver different version of the website uh, that will rank like we have guys in the reputation management uh, market that are using this tool to just like build a bunch of websites that just like, you know, clears out the, the contamination that they're trying to get rid of. So, um, so you could basically make Google news websites, whatever with this, whatever you want, PBNs, anything you want really. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to like blogging, we don't really recommend it as a way to to have a you know a feed, but it can go alongside a directory, a news site, things like that, where you build the 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 website that you want. Like I have some people that have brilliant directories, which is a very uh, you know big directory uh, SaaS platform, mm -hmm. and so you can build these city pages to go alongside them with like a C name, okay, in your DNS. And you could you could have city pages that point to your directory pages, so you can have those uh, additional internal linking uh, that can sorry uh, that that can give you the the link juice that will help rank those uh, direct those directory pages. So it can work with anything. It can work with re e commerce. It can work with anything. Basically, you, you're at this point. You're you're grabbing localized keywords and you're stacking the silos so that you can boost any page on the site that you're trying to boost, or you can boost an external resource or uh, asset as a buffer site, something to that effect. Yeah, and um, is it possible for you to share your screen just so that people can see what the process is like for the the form? Um, that you have to fill out because obviously the as you said the forum is the the one where we have to as users have to copy and paste and do you know put and put all that stuff into the system and um, so i'd love to see what that looks like and um, so your screen yeah. is visible now so okay uh, yeah so when you come in this is sort of your dashboard inside of mass page um the website is mass.page and so we do a few things. Uh, one, we have a spin text through uh, Word AI, and then we, we give you so much per month that you can use, but it resets each month. Um, most people never go over this. This is the enterprise plan um, that has 500,000, um, but most people don't use all the spin text uh, work there. We also have uh, image library, okay? So if you go into here, uh, you'll see all of the images that we have already uploaded in here. And if you click on this, you'll see the details, okay? So this is the IPTC data that comes from the form, okay? That mm -hmm. creates each one of these as a unique uh, image. So this one will use the word Kings Point, New York, but the other ones will be, will be different. Um, every one of them will be different. Like this, this is spin text. So it'll put whatever company here, it'll put whatever spin text version comes out. Um, it'll also like this image was not taken in 2019. It'll mm -hmm. set a, a different um, uh, date for that. It'll, it'll grab the keywords from the form and put it in here. Um, uh, you know, copyright information, things like that. Um, you can rotate the image. If you, let's say you get a, uh, whoops, you gotta go like that. And then you can save the rotation. You can do that. You can edit the uh, tags. So if you don't like the way a tag goes, you can change it and it changes it on the server. And then what I wanna also point out is that we also put it on Google Drive as well. So if you have a Google stack or you have like a, you know, uh, you wanna uh, do image marketing, you can grab this image from Google and you can, put it in here and it has the IPTC data 
uh, put into uh, Google as well. And these these also can rank and help your website. These are some of the techniques that we've used over the years. And we, we turned it over to other people. This is a cloud CDN images.link that we host. And uh, that image goes up here and uh, it'll go into your website. Uh, we also built a plugin that allows you to bring these these sites. If you go into WordPress, and anybody that's a WordPress developer, you know that the IPTC data um, gets stripped out when you put it into the media library. We built a plugin that allows it to not only uh, bring that this image in as an external asset, it keeps the IPTC data, and it also populates the alt tags and the title tags off of the uh, metadata inside the image. Okay, so it'll save you a whole lot of time uh, with with that. Uh, you you you'll just take the um, image URLs and just like stick it stick it inside there. So that's the media manager. You can see I've worked on a few different ones here, and you can see it it changes on each one. You can see the different image, different information uh, for each one. This is a different town, as you can see, different keywords. All of this stuff gets changed from the form. Yeah. Okay. So when you're in your your tool, like uh, these are all websites and you know test sites that I've done, um, you can view the code, which is right here, and you can kind of see to make sure that everything came out right. This is where you export to Magic Page plugin. This is where you it makes a favicon for you, so you can download the favicon and put it in there. Also, it also take all of the images that you import. And it'll give you all of them into um, encoded uh, folders. So you have all of the images that you created in this form. These all have the IPCC data. So if you want to put them on your own uh, hosting, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so it's, it's up to you on what you want to do with those files, but they're all right there. And then these other ones are for uh, Traffic Factory. And we'll have other integrations coming, but Traffic Factory is the first one that we, um, that we have coming. Okay. And so it looks simple and easy, really. Yeah, the form, let me show you the form. Um, I'll, I'll show you one that's already filled out so we don't take up too much time. But it, it doesn't really take too much time if you have the information uh, sitting over the side. So we're going to head uh, edit. And as you saw over to the right of the edit button, there's also a clone. So you can take a particular form once you get sort of the perfect uh, setup. And you can go ahead and just change this information up here. So right now, this is Bob's plumbing and heating. Yeah. So if we put this in and we put in Jack's, Jack's. Um, let's say you're working with uh, Jack's plumbing. I don't know. I'm just looking it up. <laughs> and, and they're there. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, change the information right here, all the nearby cities are changed, which I usually set this to 10. Um, right. So you, you just have, you know, and now these guys are in Maryland before it was like New York, okay? Yeah. And all of these become fields that you can you can pull in uh, to your to your website. Um, you, then, you, you know, it'll, it'll uh, scrape different things from schema if it's available. Um, if not, it won't. And then like, here's things like your, your keywords, It'll scrape the description from that website, which in this case it didn't, uh, because there was no, they either didn't have description or not. Um, but what we would do is you can put something like this in, okay, for your description. This is one of the most important fields because this is what populates the uh, caption uh, description inside of your images. So mm -hmm. it'll take spin text and make their very various variations of that caption and it'll just insert the company in here inside of this token so these are the tokens that are currently available to you so you can grab any of these insert them into the the the, the information and it'll also automatically change when you change the gmb up at the top okay uh here's the cid which we scrape for you as well the latitude longitude for the business we scrape um, this is stuff that comes from schema if we if we get local business schema from that site. So that's that's all that there. Um, let's see. All of these these could be additional pages uh, of content. So if you just click expand, 
Uh, this will this will make this keyword uh, for additional information. So you can fill that out if you want. I'm just going to revert it because we're not going to use that right now. Um, summary of features. So you would like you would have somebody copyright this, but let's say we were to use this, uh, you can do this, or you can just put in the text and then hit spin, and right. it'll it'll spin it for you. Um, Here's the benefits, short benefit one, short benefit two. So we basically break it down a little bit. You know, my inspiration for this was like the Mad Libs uh, where you, you know, would put in adjective, verb, you know, noun, and it would just sort of put together sentences and stuff. Well, that's what we do on the other end of the template. We create these uh, H1 tags, H2 tags, H3, and things like that, all off of what you've written in here. So um, it might pull one of these adjectives to modify your niche. So it might say affordable plumber, or sometime it'll say, you know, we just put these in as, as messed around, but professional or high trained or, you know, something like that. Um, yeah. We also have uh, titles. So if you click on this, it'll create a whole bunch of titles that you can also pull into your, um, your, your, your information, which they're all editable once you have them in there. Um, calls to action. You can click on the auto calls to action. It'll give you a whole bunch of ideas for that. Um, and you can do that video URLs. These, um, these help the pages as well. And you can get like how to videos or your own stack of videos and put them in there. Uh, it'll do all the embed codes and all of that for you. Um, lead generation form. We're using um, a program called lead simplify. Uh, you can use any kind of uh, iframe and put it in here and it'll show up on the other side. And then we just, I'll just walk you through. These are description bodies. This is like uh, nested spinning guys. If you, if you know what nested spinning is, sometimes it'll pull up this one. Sometimes it'll pull up this one, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, it'll, it'll give your, your pages a lot of variety. Yeah. Um, so uh, here's some testimonials I just put in as placeholders. Um, we also have a thing called auto testimonials. So if we click on this, it will write testimonials for you with fake names, fake faces, fake cities, um, not fake cities. These are real cities, but they're they're around that area. So this is Kingston. It puts the company's uh, Jack's plumbing in there. It'll put the niche in there, all that stuff for you. Uh, just so you have some placeholders to build the site off of. Um, then we have this is the authority links or the um, you know SEO targets I call them. Um, you just put one per line. Mm -hmm. These could go to your uh, money site. Um, these could go to authority sites or a mix of both, and uh, they 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 go into the pages uh, to kind of build that that PBN uh, experience. Um, and then these are the uh, hosted images. So you just go ahead and you hit add image and you just grab your images and it'll convert it all into this. So if you see each one has different keywords that have gone into the file name and yep. these are those images that we showed before. And then if you wanted to have the Google Drive, you can grab those or you can copy these here and put them into here uh, or you can use our plugin to pull them into WordPress. All right. And then you just hit submit or you go ahead, send it to the client to fill out the rest. You can clone it, save it, uh, whatever you're looking to do. So that's that. And then once you, once you have the information, um, you're going to go into here. All right. And in this case, we're going to export to MPP and we got this Bob's plumbing. Um, and if we go up to here, this is a, this is the template that we give you guys. If you become a member of MassPage, it just basically has all of the X fields that um, that Magic Page plugin will use to interpret this. Okay, yeah. but we're going to convert this form to other other page builders. So this is just for Magic Page plugin. So we're just going to go in here and go to the description. And this uh, content that we just saved into my form will go ahead and light up, I call it light up, but basically turn all this into content. So we're gonna go ahead and import the data and we're gonna import these two things. And, and this could be done, you know, more elaborately than this. This is just to show you how it works. 
Yeah. Um, so we're going to overwrite the data and just, you'll see the little success up here in the upper right corner. That means your site is ready. Okay. So I had, now you go ahead and you click on this and now that whole skeleton now has these images with um, IPTC data. They have the alt tags in them. Uh, it's got the call to action buttons. It's got the videos. It's got the, the form we were putting in there. Um, it's got the uh, logos. It's got the icons. Uh, here's the testimonials that we had in the form. Um, so this is all that, that stuff. Plus we also like can merge in like a privacy policy. So um, you would have a, a page for that and it, it has Bob's plumbing, but if we had Jake's Jack's plumbing and we save that, it would be all of his information here and the date of that. We got the cookie policy. Um, and then when it comes to the localized pages, if you could click on this, um, okay, so you would have, uh, these, are, these are the city pages. So if I click on Utica, It'll change all the terminology, but it's also going to rotate in those description bodies and anything that's in the tokens and things like that into this uh, page. So, so now the video is different. All of the these icons can change. Um, these pictures will change. Let's go to Poughkeepsie and just take a look at what pictures you have here. We'll go to Poughkeepsie. And we'll scroll down the page. It's really good. And yeah, so this is a different image up at the top. Again, it see how it says Poughkeepsie drain cleaning, right? Everything's fully optimized for you. Um, Yonkers, we'll go to that in a second. These are all different, all from that filling out the form once, okay? Um, yeah, see, these are all different based on what images you, you put in my form. Yeah, so the form really is... Huge, like you know, hugely important to to populate it with as much different information as you can to, yeah. to get the best possible results. Yeah, and you can also export from Magic Page plugin a full HTML version of this site. Um, you can do if you're good with HTML, you can build your own templates and take all of my fields and turn them into your own creation, however you want. I just showed it. This is just sort of you know like like all of these here were just X fields now. Yeah. They build you build you pages uh, off of this, and you'll see there's like a little thing here. This information would come from that expanded form. So your yeah. water here information would all go in here, and it it, it built that page for you. Um, so you, so you have your services pages as well. So it, it's you know we're trying not to make any kind of thin sites. We we want these sites to have like a real um, value, and. Um, so that's the whole point. In, in terms of, you know, the amounts of content that are on these pages, do we have the ability to say we want them all to be like a minimum of 500 or 600 words? Do we have that control on that or? Yeah, it all it all depends. Like all of these are built like with our template with Elementor. So if anybody has any experience with a drag and drop builder like Elementor, they can do whatever they want. So I'll just show you the, the skeleton behind it. Okay. So... If you go down here, you'll see this. This is this is going to spin description body four, description body three, or description body two. Or you could just stack these and just say I want description body two, three, four, and just like you know, the more you do, the more you'll have. So if you want to have eight thousand words, you can have that as long as you either put it in the form or you just um, make sure that those allocations are on the uh, the template on this end. Yeah. Um, the reason why we did it in Elementor, or uh, we could do it in Beaver Builder, uh, Elementor, um, I think Thrive Architect as well. Um, you can actually insert in other sections from like a more well-designed, uh, you know, template. So you'd be able to, you know, grab something from a block or for, uh, you know, these are just 404 pages, but uh, here's a call to action. So if you want to, you know, pull one of these puppies in, you could go ahead and insert it in and, and make this page a little bit better. But the way I train it is I tell you to just build this out and move on for 30 days. Just build it because it's built to rank. And so just get something going, get some traffic going. 
before you do any backlinking um, or, at all. And then, then check your analytics to see if you've got anything worth backlinking to uh, in the eyes of Google. And, uh, and, and then you can insert things to make it look prettier and, and things like that. But we don't want anything to slow down the page um, at all. Yeah. So uh, we, we want it, especially in that initial phase, we want it to be super, super optimized, super, super fast. Interesting. So in terms of the strategy for this overall, um, you know, someone gets a hold of this and they fill out the form and, and do all that stuff. You know, what, what is your strategy like? Because we always hear people saying, we'll smash out, you know, X amount of location pages. We'll do this, we do that. What What is your strategy like when you're doing this? Yeah, so my strategy is, um, you know, I, we're, I'm in the mass page business. <laughs> so um, I would build these smaller um, areas um, and just rinse and repeat. So um, I would go after like um, one or two markets at a time and then build up the suburb pages and then the minor pages as a lower silo. So you have like the three tiered system uh, where you are maximizing these two medium markets, I would go after it first and then eventually then start adding the major markets. So the way the magic page plugin works is you can add stuff in later. So you can start with the targeted area that you want to go after. So all of what I just showed you can change the markets in, in no time at all. You just change the location pinpoint and you, you have a different different place, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't get too greedy all at once. Um, I, I kind of feel like what I've done in successfully is that I would start you know, 10, 20 sites in different markets with different domains or different um, IPs or, you know, whatever, and to see what happens. Uh, some are going to catch fire, some are not. Double down on the ones that catch fire, the ones that just don't after 90 days, get rid of them. You don't have to bother with them. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then the ones that work really well, then you can start to expand it because you got traffic. When you have traffic, you have, you know, you can build authority off of that and you have a real website. So in terms of, say you launch a website um, from scratch and you put out 100 pages, just for example, mm -hmm. how many of those pages are likely to get traffic? What sort of percentage are you seeing actually works? Is it 20, 30, 40? I know that's really difficult. It depends on location, competition, and so right. on. But just out of curiosity, just because these are the things that people ask when you're doing mass page builders and, and people are saying, well, only 2% of my pages are getting done. This is mm. shit. You know, is it better for you? Because obviously your strategy here, um, not your strategy, but your software and the way it's done is a hell of a lot better than the way the older tools are, are, are typically doing it. And, mm. you know, you're just, you know, you're spinning stuff up and you're moving stuff around and, and making stuff a little bit, a little bit more unique. So I'd just be curious to know what your sort of, you know, percentage rate is um, on, a, on a kind of regular basis? Yeah, so I mean, there's that um, random factor with the Google algorithm why one domain will work, one won't. Um, you could have the same metrics, uh, you know, same backlinks, and one will pop and one won't, right? So you, I, I can't like tell you uh, why some will index 90% and some will index 15%. That's a quandary that I can't answer just because it is Google. And after all, they don't want you to know everything. Um, but what I do mm -hmm. do is I, I, it's, it's the split testing um, science minded uh, brain of mine that says, just put them out there, uh, start small, start with easy wins and then see what you get, like monitor it and see what you get, then double down and expand it from there. But um, uh, I think that the percentage of index pages is such a random thing. Um, what, one of the things that we've done with this form, like I built this, uh, as, as I said, during COVID, uh, we launched back in October and uh, we've been doing a lot of test sites like I, I was showing you. And one of the things we're having is, is that these test sites, even though they're only up for a few weeks because I, I knock them down, they're already ranking uh, right away. And, and so these are real customers, real clients, and we're, we're outranking, uh, or not outranking, but we're coming up on page one uh, without even trying, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I know that it works. Um, we, we had an example in the group 
where uh, some we wanted to just see how how potent our image uh, optimization is. Um, one of the things I didn't tell you is that we can take a five megabyte picture and crush it down to about 40 kilobytes and it's crisp as can, can be. Um, I got a programmer that's literally a rocket scientist. Uh, he's, he's gonna work for SpaceX uh, this summer. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a student and um, he's, he's a genius guy. And uh, we, we've got this compression, resizing and all this stuff happening. When you upload those images, it's compressing, it's resizing, it's um, cropping in some cases. You saw those wide images. Those were rectangles before. We're, we're actually pulling a crop from those to add those to the top of the page, right? So we're doing all of this stuff. Well, what I wanted to do is to see how well they rank. So I took a random pizza shop in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, here in the US, and I basically took and put their information in my form and then put a bunch of pictures of boardrooms, computer laptops, and things like that. And I labeled them all as the keywords pizza in that particular location, just like I showed you here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it was no less than, I think, 25 days when we started to do a search back. And we had the top two rows of uh, images in Google Images with pictures of laptops when you search pizza in that market. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then when you go to the regular, uh, and, and we have a case study of this that you can see it, uh, live in our group. Then if you go to the rankings, uh, though we were outranking, we were number one for that pizza and that town beating out the actual name of the brand, uh, with, with that method. So this, this does work, um, almost too well if you're just playing around but if you're serious about it and you apply what i tell you it, it does work very well interesting and uh, what i was also going to ask is you know you, you mentioned their elementary and stuff like that is that you know you said you get templates and stuff so if someone was going to grab that are mm -hmm. they going to have to buy these templates or are they free to use we, we have a templates club that's uh, I don't own. It's a person, a friend of mine, Stephen, who uh, built up a templates club that has, we've taken the, the, the templates that came from Magic Page plugin and we've integrated all of my codes into it. So it's it save you a whole lot of time uh, of mm -hmm. implementing the codes. But there are things like um, Astra starter sites that builds a whole website for you uh, all off of templates. All you have to do is go take my X fields and then, or uh, the fields that we give you, and just like insert them into there and it'll work um, depending on the page builder. So with Magic Page Plugin, I can speak to that because I'm very well versed in that. Um, but, but yeah, you could take any template, insert these fields in it. it. You could have a very beautiful template. I just show you the very raw one because I just want to show you so that you can see it clearly what you can do once you have these fields inside of WordPress. It gives you a very dynamic website. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, so it's it's one of those things where I want to kind of show you so that you can do it yourself. Yeah. No, it's uh, also the, the other thing I was going to ask you, obviously that's working very well for you, but are you using expired domains or are you starting with brand new domains for this? Uh, I do both. Um, expired domains, I use uh, high domain authority uh, S3 buckets, um, Google uh, drives, um, things like that. I also will use um, new domains. Um, any cheap hosting will work. Uh, yeah. Shared hosting, um, if, if you want. Um, VPS is, I mean, it's just random, random. As long as you get some performance out of the pages, um, yeah. you're good. And, and see, you know, 80%, you know, 60, 80% of the uh, page load is the images and we yeah. take care of that for you. we got a cloud global cloud CDN where all your images are hosted through. So no matter how close you are to the uh, server, it doesn't matter because it's coming off of Cloudflare and, uh, the Cloudflare, uh, CDN, and it just automatically gets there really fast. So. Yeah, nah, that's that's crazy, crazy. Um, I was just curious to know if you'd seen better performance or, or, or is it still working really well with a fresh domain name? I was curious to know that part because I know a lot of people can't be bothered or they, they struggle to find a good aged domain or expired domain. 
Um, so I was just curious to know your thoughts on how well a new domain would perform. Is it still working reasonably well? It will work. I mean, I my preference is a as a well reputable um, aged expired domain that has uh, very much on point. Like I don't go for numbers. Like I don't sort by number of backlinks. I go by uh, industry relevant and permanency for the backlinks. If they, if I can evaluate them and it looks like that link's going to stay there, it mm -hmm. looks like it's on niche and it looks like it's quality. I'll buy that domain if it's on, uh, you know, and that'll give me a head start for sure. But you don't have to do it that way. I, it just it just helps you to get to the top much faster. Yeah, no, that's um, I, I would always agree. And obviously, the sponsor of the channel ODYS specialize in age domains that's their thing so mm -hmm. um i think you know i've used age domains on affiliate projects and, and stuff like that and it's been a while since i've done any kind of major mass page websites but you know you hear more and more people talking about lead gen and the opportunities they've got from right. from doing this stuff you know whether it's a plumber whether it's you know a locksmith it really doesn't matter um and it doesn't matter what area of the world you're doing it in people are getting massive massive amounts of success um, from this um, and obviously doing this as well as the GMB thing because the GMB itself is an asset uh, and you know without <laughs> the website um, so doing both of these together really you know if you want to do lead gen is is a, a massive money making opportunity and if it's working for now um, you know you've got to to jump on there and and do it because at the end of the day I think it's all about the speed and scale of these tools rather than uh, anything else, uh, you know, no no human being could keep up with what you're doing there. Um, <laughs> that's what I love about that stuff. But you you mentioned uh, obviously your your um, your platform and everything else. Now, if someone was to sign up for you, you've obviously got your three plans: your business, agency, and enterprise plan. Um, obviously, they've all got different um, uh -huh. uh, you know, different criteria. But for someone just going for for you know the, maybe the business plan or the agency plan, um, how many <coughs> how many websites can you do with these plans? Unlimited. Uh, just all it depends is, is how much image hosting you want to have. You can always go into your media manager and delete out images you're not using, which mm -hmm. I don't you know I don't bother with because you can always buy another gigabyte for twenty bucks uh, as long as your agency plan and higher. So yeah, I mean we don't. We don't ting you on any of the uh, number of websites you can do. You can do unlimited um, with it as long as the image hosting is under the, the level that you got. But you can always scale your account. You could start business, which I recommend a lot of people do, and then see how much you use it. Then if you want to get this, the siphon, which we didn't talk about, uh, the siphon, you want access to um, the other tools that we have, Geoholics, uh, the other one's Leads Detective, and we're building another one called ImageFly and Siphon.Site, which is the Siphon tool. Um, those tools you start to get when you're in the enterprise plan. We just kind of give you membership access to those uh, as well. So what, what are those tools? What do they do? So um, so Geoholics is an exciting project. Um, I can share my screen if you have a second. It, it doesn't take long at all to show. Well, share it again. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> uh, where are we? Let's see. I want to show one thing here too. Um, this is an AWS uh, S3 bucket. And I built this off of the HTML part of Magic Page. I just want to show just a little tip to you guys. Um, we took the CID and we, ran, we randomly have this show up like every 10 to 20% of the time. Uh, you can do that with Magic Page plugin. But then we take those nearby locations from my form and put it right below it. So as you go down through, you're going to have like every time you change this, it's going to fan out and it'll have several other different nearby locations, guys. So this is a high, highly regarded tip where your CID map in association very closely printed with these local towns and cities, like really super local. Uh, it's a little little boost for you guys, and you'll open up that pin uh, on the Google Maps. So the, our tool helps you with that. Um, what I wanted to show you is um, Geoholics. Um, Geoholics we built uh, for 
pay-per-click marketing for um, a lot of different tools. But um, basically this is US data right now because I'm looking for other places to go. Um, but you can pick like, uh, the, the cool thing about this is that you can pick state, uh, area type, and then household income, household value, uh, population trending rate, and you hit select, right? And it opens up all of these filters. So now you can say, okay, instead of going mass page for every single town that comes up in my database, I want to refine the database because I have a sweet spot, okay? Mm -hmm. I want towns and cities that have a population uh, uh, or zip codes that have a population of this because they're less competitive, right? Yeah. And I want to go after Alabama uh, and New York, right? Uh, whoops. And so you can, you can build your database right here. So another thing is, is we have this data, which is pretty unique to us is where you have rural, urban, and suburban. We've gone through the maps and found which areas are suburban, which areas are urban and which ones are rural based on the type of product you're offering. You might want to have a, a rural, if you're selling tractors, uh, you might want to have that. Uh, you might want to have suburban if you're selling stuff to soccer moms. So, yeah. You know, you just de determine what you want. You can do a, a combination of them or whatever. Um, if you have a certain target market for household income, let's say you're selling um, loans to people with low income, you could change the low income and then yeah. you would only market to those areas. Um, if you're going after like, you know, uh, timeshares, you might go up here where they have more disposable income, right? Yeah. Um, home value got the same thing. You could go after the multi-million dollar homes. These are on average, Okay. And then if you wanted like uh, depressed areas, um, I love this tool. We built this exclusively with uh, Geoholics. You could say, uh, we want an area that's losing population for whatever reason. Say that, you know, we, can, we, we wanna buy old uh, homes and refix them and resell them or rent them out, right? Mm -hmm. So you can go after this database and you can find the areas that are, are becoming more and more depressed where, uh, businesses are leaving and things like that. When you hit submit, this is going to come up with nothing because I've got the <laughs> depression rate. See, it's, it's, it's got to be more broad. Um, but let's see if we go here. So now you have all of these areas that fit that criteria. Okay. So we said New York and Alabama, we set all these areas. Now you can just go ahead and download a CSV of those uh, and you put them into your pay-per-click campaign or you can do this and make a uh, magic page plugin location data set and only build pages based on this criteria. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we built this tool. Um, there's a lot of other use cases for it. Like if you're doing outdoor advertising and all these kinds of stuff to know where to put your billboards up or, you know, where to do your political outreach, things like that. We're building more and more filters for it, but uh, this is an exciting project that's pre-launched and you can get access to it uh, with the, uh, with the other thing. Uh, leads detective, I'll just explain that to you. Uh, basically that is, uh, I built it for my digital agency. We do some domain investing. And so we wanted to be able to find people that have similar domains. Uh, so we built this uh, leads thing that gets new leads every single day. They're not leads, they're just basically data um, from the who is archive. And then we, we, we have like six other data sources we put together uh, and we look for duplicates and we look for like, uh, you know, information in those. Uh, so we built that for that. You get access to that. That's, uh, we just launched that very recently. Um, that's leadsdetective.com. Um, mm -hmm. the other one is called ImageFly, which does dynamic images. Um, that one is still in the production. Um, and so basically you'll have images, um, uh, PNGs or PN, you know, PNGs that have the words from our data set. So any mm -hmm. of the words that come from here can go into an image and be located right on that page. Um, so you have more uniqueness if, the, if that's something you're into. Um, yeah. And then I'll just show you the siphon. It's real simple. Um, you can put up to five URLs in here. Um, so I'm just going to put in um, mass.page and you put in how many sentences you want. I'm going to say 500 because I want them all or else you can just drop your text in here. And what this is going to do is it's going to go out and scrape this page, get rid of the footer and the header, uh, any ads and things like that. And it's just going to pull back the content and then it's going to summarize it and then it's going to rephrase it for you. 
Okay, so it's a, it's a combination of it. This is in beta right now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're going in and trying to improve it uh, uh, as best we can. It doesn't work on every single site, depending on the structure of the site. Uh, but this is going to come back with some data, uh, this information that you can um, you can uh, go ahead and see. This is all information from my site, but it's all been rephrased for you. It's been summarized so that you have sort of a different set. If you put this in the Copyscape, um, anything that mentions magic form and things like that that are proprietary, It'll hit a it'll hit for that, but a lot of this other stuff because it's rephrased, you have some fresh content to work with. So, and we put that into the form as well. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, so, if someone pays for your enterprise package, they get all of that stuff together, right? Yeah, we give you access. Um, you just have to put in a support ticket once you're enterprise. We give you access to the uh, Geoholics, the Leads Detective, and then uh, the future programs we have, which is ImageFly and Siphon.Site. Uh, those, those you'll get access to. And before we do wrap up, you've uh, decided to give us a coupon code. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so I, I prepared a coupon code for your audience. Um, all you have to do is go to our website, mass.page. Um, if you're sharing it on Facebook, go to masspage.net because they don't let you for some reason type in mass.page. But anyway, uh, get to the website. Go ahead and go to the pricing page. Uh, if you already have an account, you go in and click on existing. If you don't have an account, click on the button. Uh, and there's a coupon code. It's through Thrivecart. A lot of people are familiar with it. The coupon code's over to the right. And just put in C Campbell. C Campbell uh, in the price quote. Um, and you get a 50% recurring discount. So every single month, you save that 50%. That's a great deal. Thank you very much for that. And and how long is that forever? Like, Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it up there for you. And Any, anytime you want to refer somebody that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that for you. And just in case someone's watching this podcast in four months time, how long are you prepared to allow, allow people that 50%? Does well, that offer expire at all? It's evergreen for you. Evergreen yeah. for me. Cool. Not that I'm pushing you. I just want to know because people <laughs> yep. want to it in four months time yep. and they're like, man, I never seen that. Um, so <laughs> guys, get over and get your, 50% discount um, for that because it's a great deal and I would highly advise that you jump on these things. Um, as I say, it's it's always good to, to have guys like you who've got the skills um, to, to make these things happen. I, I love tools. I love SEO. Um, I just don't know how to do that stuff in the background that you guys do, which I call rocket science. Um, but yeah, it's it's it looks really good. I, I'm quite excited actually to to you know get that and, and play around with it. Um, as I say, I like testing stuff myself, so I will personally be. Pro I'm going to do a case study um, of what I'm doing. I'll probably blow up um, <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to do a case study on it. Mass page. I think it's interesting. Just on a local. I've got loads of old domain names, so I'm going to do a case study on mm -hmm. what I've done and how quickly. I was able to pick up some traffic. So I'm going to uh, sign up, get get a bit of that going, and just for a bit of fun. <laughs> I, like <laughs> to, I like to play around with these things, as I say, and it probably will go belly up. Uh, and I'll probably come back to you. I'll be like, Daryl, what, what <laughs> you mean? But, um, but nah, hopefully it all goes well. I'll give, I'll give you some per personal coaching if you want some help. <laughs> <I'll help you laughs> But yeah, so it's been a pleasure having you. If sure. anyone watches to wants to reach out to you personally, is mass.page the best website? Or yeah, you know, just uh, you can just put in a ticket to support at mass.page. Just let them let me know that you're not a member, so I don't look for you in the membership. Um, you can always do it that way. Uh, you'll get answered within a few hours, typically, depending on what time of day you get it. Um, yep. And we're always looking to improve. We have a we have a small but very engaged community on Facebook and also on YouTube. So I do invite you to look up Mass Page Tools on YouTube. Uh, we we do all kinds of videos on all kinds of topics. For example, we did a webinar uh, a few weeks ago about how you can take my keywords and all of this stuff and make unique videos, thirty second videos, and then have them inserted into your page. 
in under 30 minutes. So you can have like real MP4 videos on a CDN and have them all created uh, on your branding and everything like that. And um, so we, we, we explained that, we explained how to get expired domains the other week, a uh, really sneaky trick that I don't see a lot of people talking about. Uh, so we're always adding value. Uh, we have a Sunday program, as you'll see on the YouTube channel, where my friend Stephen and I just kind of banter about mass page and SEO and uh, our family and that kind of thing. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a very engaged group. Yeah, so guys, do check that out. It's always good to steal other bits of information from successful guys who are doing stuff very well. So all these little golden nuggets that you pick up add to your repertoire and hopefully go on to make a lot of money. But Daryl, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on, man. Um, and guys, check out mass.page um, and use C Campbell as your discount code um, to get 50% off. Um, but thank you very much, Daryl. Been a pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Cheers.